you one of the most notable changes to the new version of Resolve, Resolve 15, the uh, free beta they released within the last week or two, is the, they've included Fusion right within the application as just another tab that you can go to. And it gives you the majority of the capabilities of the previous version, Fusion 9, right within Resolve. And basically anything you add here is automatically reflected in the footage you have on your edit page. But they've also integrated um, some parts of Fusion, especially Fusion uh, text capabilities, right within the effects library of Resolve on the left side here. Uh, you could add your own text plus tool and customize it. And they also have uh, a list here of Fusion titles, which are mostly lower thirds that you could add that are already pre-made for you. So say there's just one called 3D Lower sh Third Shelf. Just drag that over, add that into your timeline here, and you play through, and it adds a little 3D shelf here and then some text that adds on. Uh, you may or may not want to actually use that, but if you would like to create your own, say 3D elements, text elements, titles, lower thirds, uh, or any other kind of motion graphics, you could do that within the built-in fusion, if you like, or if you have some already pre-made or you've already made in the previous version, Fusion 9, you could actually add them to this list, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video, how to accomplish that. So the main steps are that you're going to want to make a new composition, again, either in Resolve 15's Fusion or in Fusion 9. Or if you have some pre-made ones, you just open one of those comps, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. And you're basically going to take the nodes that you want for the motion graphics that you want to add as a preset and resolve, and you're going to make them into a macro, and then save that macro into a special folder, which I'll put down in the description. And once you restart resolve, it'll show up in this list. Now I've already done it with one previously, so I'll show you what it looks like. I created one called TV Rating, which if you look in your list, in your version of Resolve, you won't see this because I've added this one. And I just left click and drag it over. And basically what it is, at least in this example, is just a simple TV rating that you see on a lot of TV shows that fades in and out. So it fades in, stays on for a while, and it fades out again. Uh, this is being a little temperamental here, but it fades in and fades out. So I'll show you how what steps to go through to make the macro, where to save it, and then how it'll be added here. So we added the TV rating one, which is this one right here. And I'll show it again what it looked like within Fusion 9. And it's just a simple graphic that comes on, fades out. So I'll have another one here that's a pre-made kind of a text element and some shape elements that come in from the left side. So I'll play that through. Again, pretty simple, but we're gonna basically add this as a, uh, create this into a macro and then add it to the Resolve 15 menu. So since we just want the motion graphics and not the actual footage uh, as part of the Fusion title, because we'll be adding that as you need it to footage you already have. We can disconnect the footage here. And what we'll do, we'll put it into place because you can't have, you have to have two inputs into a merge. Is we'll just add a background to take place of the footage in this comp. And then we'll set it to alpha to zero so it's transparent. But then when we run the comp or run the animation, then we'll see the graphic elements we have there. Now when you want to create a macro, it's fairly easy. The basics is you just want to select all the nodes that you want to be part of the macro that you want to create the motion graphic uh, or the element that you're going to be uh, exporting. So let's go here. We'll select all the ones we need here. And you just take any one of them and right click on it. And you want to come up to where it says macro, 
and you want to click create macro. Okay, so when you have your macro, create macro window open here, uh, might seem pretty intimidating when you see all these different settings and different check marks and different values, but these each one of these basically corresponds to a different attribute of one of the tools you have open. So we're going to be, for this example, messing with the text node. And we're basically be, this basically opens up and gives what parameters you're going to want the user to be able to change, uh, in this case in the macro, and then also once we get to the Fusion titles, the one we're going to create, it's what different parameters you want them to be able to change. So for this example, we're just going to stick to the text. Uh, we'll have a so they can change the size of it, its font, and what kind of style it has, if it's italic or bold. And also we're going to give it a different name here. So we'll just call this side circle text, give it whatever name you want, but then basically hit close, and it's going to ask you if you want to save it, so you click yes, and then you're going to also, that's that's the name of the tool itself, or that's the name of the macro itself, and then you also want to give the file a name here, so we'll just call it the same thing, click save, so now that macro is been created and added to Fusion 9 here. So if you go up to Tools, so if we click somewhere else here, go into Tools, and go into Macro, you'll see it listed here. And then that creates a node, which basically has all the parameters we just added there. So if I put this into Window 1, then I can play it just like the original. And you see on the side here, the different parameters that we put a check mark in are available here so we could change the size of the text. We get to our point where the text is. We could change the size of it. We could change the font, what kind it is, and the actual text of the, the value of the text. So now that's made into a macro, we basically then have to find the folder for it. So I'll put a uh, path to where the file could be located down in the description. So like mine, it's under my user, app data, roaming, blackmagic design, fusion, and then macros. And here it is, it's basically a dot setting file. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna copy that And then you want to go into the folder where the Fusion titles are held. And again, I'll put that down in the description. But basically, it's under the Program Files. And again, this is Windows. It's a little different Mac. But it's in under Program Files for Blackmagic Design. Then DaVinci Resolve, the folder where you installed uh, Revisolve 15. Fusion, Templates, Edit, and then Titles. And here you'll see all the different Fusion titles. So once you copy it, just want to paste it in here. And it's going to ask for administrative permissions. So you click Continue. So now that setting, that macro is saved here. So then you're going to want to, if you have Resolve open, Resolve 15, close it. And then reopen it. your project, either a new one or a previous one. Add some footage into the media here. Then you could add it to the timeline. Then if you scroll down here, on the left side under the Fusion Titles, you should then see the new one you just made. So it's the one we just made, Side Circle Text. So I'll left click and drag that over and add that to the timeline. And if I play it through, you'll then see it come out. And it'll work.
work just like you did in Fusion 9 or if you'd create it in Fusion section here. But then it will run through. Now mine's running a little slow here, so but that's the the full motion graphic here. And if you click on it, you go into the inspector, then you can see the parameters you could change, size, font, what kind of font, or what kind of if it's regular or italic or bold, and the actual text of it, which you could change. So it's changed over here. And now you could use that in any projects you want. And you could just basically do the same thing with any other lower thirds or any other motion graphics you create. Just go and make them into a, create them, make them into a macro. And then copy them from the macro folder into the Resolve 15 folder. And that will create your new entry into the Fusion Titles menu here. Hopefully you found that useful. And thank you for watching.